city Do not know who I am But still know that I'm good Long as you're here with me To be drunk and in love in New York City Midnight into morning coffee Burning through the hours talk. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel So right now I'm going to the Vancouver International Airport And I'm flying out to um, New York today Super excited. I'm going to be there for two and a half weeks. So I'm going to take you around um, New York. So I'm actually flying with JetBlue this time and this is actually my first time flying with them. So I'm also going to make a short on it. So stay tuned for that as well. So as soon as I got off the plane, I went straight to my aunt and uncle's place on Long Island. I was staying at their place while I was in New York and they literally have the cutest dogs ever. And I just rested for a bit before heading out. Hey guys, so I'm currently on the train from Long Island to Manhattan. I am heading into Manhattan for dinner. Um, I'm meeting up with a friend there and we're going to this Italian restaurant um, called Bad Roman. So let's go. After dinner, we walked around Central Park and saw the Bethesda Terrace and Fountain and then also Sheep Meadow which has a beautiful skyline of the city in the back. Later, we passed through 5th Avenue and saw the Rockefeller Center because we wanted to see the Manhattan Henge, which happens like once or twice every year. So that's it for today, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I just got to the central station and we are going to change to the subway now. Into a line, so I'll stay home, write these songs, pretend I'm making something. Friends are getting married. So on my first full day in New York, we had a jam-packed schedule. We went to the Statue of Liberty and then the Brooklyn Bridge. To get to the Statue of Liberty, we had to go to the Battery Park first and purchase tickets there. Then we got on a ferry which takes us to Liberty Island where the Statue of Liberty is located. contour of the plaster models then use the forms when you arrive on the island there is a statue of liberty museum where you can learn about the story and the history behind the statue finally getting married to an angel in human form but i still think about nashville with staying here the record After visiting the Liberty Island, we also went to the Ellis Island. This is the home of the National Museum of Immigration. So this island was the principal immigration reception station from 1892 to 1924. So my favorite part of this museum was seeing this registration hall. It was so fascinating to see how much history this room holds as this was the room where dreams began for the immigrants. Hey guys, so we just arrived in Brooklyn and it is around dinner time now, so we're gonna grab something to eat first 
and then we're gonna check out Dumbo and probably end the day with um, like sunset on the Brooklyn Bridge. After checking out the timeout market and getting some tacos, we went to Dumbo and ended the day with a walk on the Brooklyn Bridge. Good morning everyone, so I am at the Grand Central Station and today we're finally going to um, the One Summit at Vanderbilt and I am so excited for it because I've seen so many pictures on Instagram um, and it just looks so cool and so fun and so Instagrammable. Um, and I just came out of the Grand Central Elevator. I'm going to the main concourse right now to meet up with my friend, so let's go! So we couldn't actually get tickets for the Summit 1 Vanderbilt for that day, so we decided to go to MoMA instead. So the following clips are mostly works of Picasso, Matisse, and I thought this one by Salvador Dali was also very interesting. And of course, we saw The Starry Night. The next few are just a few pieces that stood out to me when I was walking around the museum. They also had this early color on film exhibition in the basement when we went. After checking out the gift shop, we walked by Times Square and headed to Korean Town. We tried out this Korean restaurant. All the dishes we ordered were very delicious, so I would highly recommend this place. The portions were a bit small, so remember to order more if you want to be full. We finished off by going to a newly opened bar also in Korean town. That's it for today guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome to another day in New York. On day four, I had a late start to the day and headed into Manhattan to do some shopping on Fifth Avenue. I mainly wanted to get some pieces from Aloe, such as their Accolade Pullover Crew Neck. I also wanted the matching sweatpants, but even double extra small was too baggy and long on me. I also tried on this tennis skirt, the Soho pullover, and the airlift leggings. Really 
Later, I went to get some dinner for me and my friend from this place called Happy Tuna and brought it with me to Bryant Park because in the evening, we went to Bryant Park for movie night, which was both my friend and I's first time going. They were showing Funny Face that night and I absolutely loved this vibe. If you're in New York during the summertime, I highly recommend you to check it out. What does that mean? Something like, do unto others as you would have others do unto you. What's up? I, I don't know which way to go! Well, that way! I'm so day 5 was a rest day, so I didn't go into the city and just basically helped out my mom with taking care of my aunt and uncle's dogs and cats. I also caught up with some work as well. Here, Luna, Luna, Luna. Good girl. Do you want one, Pee Pee? Do you want one? Good girl. So these are their treats. This one is chicken wrapped twist. Um, they have this one as well. And then there's also this one right here. Beef recipe freeze dried dog treats. They really like this one. And then this one they really like as well. And this one. On day 6, we visited the American Museum of Natural History. I would say if you like human cultures, artifacts, fossils, then this is the museum for you. My mom was more interested in seeing the humanities aspects of the museum, so we skipped a lot of the birds, insects, and dinosaur fossils. guys that so we are pretty much done at the American Museum of Natural History. We spent around I think like three hours here and now we're just gonna go to a Southeast Asian restaurant that's really close to here so we're gonna go try it out so let's go. We're finally going to the Met today. It's 
early in the morning, so I think we're gonna be spending the entire day there. Um, so let's go. So the Met was absolutely gigantic. We started with Egyptian art and then made our way to the American wing. I would say definitely leave aside a full day for this museum if you want to see at least somewhat close to everything in the museum. We passed by one of the gift shops and then checked out the European sculpture and decorative arts. As you can see, I was very excited to look at myself through a mirror from the 1700s. This is the medieval art section and apparently this is a very famous sculpture. We grabbed something to eat at one of the cafes in the Met. And here is a map of the Met. As you can see, there are a lot of sections. Afterwards, we walked through modern and contemporary art before making our way to European paintings. We saw some paintings of Van Gogh and a whole bunch of Monet's paintings as well. Hey guys, so I've already spent four hours in this museum. I can do this. Guys, I'm taking this on as like a mission to kind of like go around and see everything I can. Pushing through guys, pushing through. After checking out the Asian art section, we also checked out the Sleeping Beauties Reawakening Fashion Exhibition. There were pieces from fashion houses like Loewe, Prada, and Dior. We ended the day with some comfort food at BCD Tofu House in Koreantown and called it a day. Good morning everyone. I started off day 8 with some coffee at Black Fox Coffee. Later, we went to the Richard Rogers Theatre to see Hamilton since both my friend and I have never seen it. It was such a phenomenal show, I highly recommend seeing it. After finished watching the Broadway show, we finally went to Summit 1 Vanderbilt. This was a building that had to be built to spark a revival. We took the leap. One Vanderbilt was our opportunity to put our mark on the skyline.
They had several different floors, and it was quite an immersive experience. New York City looked absolutely breathtaking up there, and you can see all the other high-rise buildings as well, like the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building. Hey guys, so we just finished at the One Summit Vanderbilt and right now we're going to the steak place. This is actually somewhere that I wanted to try while I was in Paris, but if you watch my Paris vlog, you probably um, saw that I actually got food poisoning, so I was supposed to go on the night that I got food poisoning. Um, this steak place serves only steak, fries, and uh, green salad and everything else I think you need to like pay extra so yeah very excited oh and by the way you can get like refills for as much as you want I think um yeah so let's go Hey guys, so we just finished dinner and we decided to come to this ice cream shop called Serendipity 3 and actually I didn't even plan to come here like I just randomly saw the word serendipity on a Google map and I was like I love this word and also I watched the movie serendipity so I wanted to check it out and I did not know that it was quite popular and there's actually a lineup so I randomly selected a very popular store or a very popular um, ice cream shop The interior of this place had the cutest decorations ever. I ended up sharing a Sunday with my friend and that's it for today guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning guys. So I am at the train station. I'm going to be taking the LIRR to Penn Station today and then um, we're heading to, I think it's called the Highline Park, and then also checking out the Vessel and then stopping by at the Chelsea Market. And yeah, that's pretty much for today. Um, today is going to be a quite like a chill day. So we will be going to the vessel right now. After checking out the vessel, we made our way to the Highline Park. This is a linear park created on the former rail trail of the New York Central Railroad, and this park definitely has an industrial vibe to it. Hey guys, so we are making our way through the Highline Park and we're actually walking to the Chelsea Market right now um, and we just stopped in between to like rest a bit and to sit down for a bit and um, this is a really nice view. As you walk through the park, you will also see the Chelsea Market. 
and at the Chelsea market we went to the lobster place to try some oysters but they were quite small that day so we didn't order a lot Then we got tacos from Los Tacos number one. I got a beef taco and a quesadilla as well. They were pretty good. Little Island is super close to the Chelsea Market, only like one street down, so we also checked it out. For the last stop of the day, we went to a bar slash restaurant in Korean town again called No Flex. Their tiramisu martini is pretty good and we also got some hand rolls to share. Afterwards, I took the LIRR home and see you all the next day. Good afternoon, everyone. So today we are in Lower Manhattan and we're actually checking out West Village today because there are so many different apartments that I want to um, check out. I want to check out the Friends apartment and then Carrie's apartment from Sex and the City. Um, and also I want to try Magnolia's Bakery, like the original one. Being a huge Friends fan, I honestly died a little when we turned at a corner and I knew I was going to finally see the outside of the Friends building. My mom and I were walking through West Village and stumbled upon this restaurant. We decided to give it a try and little did I know, it turned out to be probably the best restaurant I've been to in New York. We ordered this burrata, the chicken, and pasta. And overall, everything was so amazingly delicious. I highly, highly, highly recommend this place. Welcome to day 11 of New York. Today was super chill. I went to Nordstrom to get a few pieces from Skims before heading to West Village. I stopped by Joe Coffee and got a yuzu elderflower matcha spritz before checking out Anina Bing and ended up buying a sweatshirt. I absolutely love the vibe of West Village and I can now finally understand why some people say you will have a favorite part of New York after being here. For me, my favorite part would definitely be West Village. Later in the evening, I met up with a friend that I haven't seen in a really long time and we tried a French restaurant called Buvette in West Village. We finished off the evening by going to this bar called Angel's Share, which was right across the street from the restaurant. Guys, if you come to this bar, you have to try this cheek to cheek drink. This is probably the best cocktail I've had in my life. The top is super creamy paired with a berry tasting, almost like a slushy at the bottom. Definitely a must try. We did another round of drinks and called it a night.
Guys, my first bite of bagel in New York. Let's give it a try. So we just got the, um, I think it's called the Classic Lox Bagel. So I got the Poppy Seed Bagel with scallion cream cheese and um, smoked salmon. After trying my first New York bagel, we went to Little Ruby's Cafe in Soho to get some brunch. Afterwards, I wanted to try Eileen's Cheesecake, which was super close by. We walked around the neighborhood and made our way to Little Italy and Chinatown, which was right next to each other. Arigato. In the afternoon, my friend took me to the Tenement Museum, which shares stories of the immigrants of New York City through guided tours of historic tenement buildings. Uh, and it is the original banister as well. So. Yeah. When was this built? Uh, this was built around 1935. 1935? No, the whole place. Oh, the whole place, 1863. Thank you. All right. So, 22 families total living here. 22 mm -hmm. in the whole building. In the whole building. Yeah. They, they were paying rent to this landlord? Yeah, they're paying rent to the landlord. Um, so in 1902, the average rent for a tenement is probably going to be $10 to $15 a month. Um, adjusted for inflation today, that's three to $500 a month. The palm reader that lived in this building, uh, <laughs> Professor Dora Meltzer, who, yeah, you pay 15 <laughs> cents, you can get your fortune told. Um, He's got three employees, so he's one employee back there. Yeah, happy, don't no, see no. whoever that person is looks smiling. Yeah, <laughs> look at her. Yeah. yeah. She's holding up garment shears. This is the corner of Orchard and Hester, so our street, three blocks down. For dinner, we tried Prince Street Pizza, which is also in West Village. Guys, this pizza is so good. I love it so much. So I got the spicy pepperoni. And this is just so good with the pepperoni and the sauce being spicy. Mm. Last but not least, we walked over to Pier 35 to watch the sunset. I highly recommend visiting this pier. As you can see, they have a few swings, so it's really nice for watching sunsets or even for hanging around. On my very last day in New York City, I decided to go to Queens and check out the Museum of the Moving Image. I feel like this is a super family-friendly museum dedicated to the technology of movies, television, and digital media. This museum also has a lot of games such as computer games, video games, and arcade games. I thought this documentary from 1922 was pretty interesting. It was one of the first full-length documentaries. It was also very interesting to see this collection of old television sets.
They were also showing the Jim Henson exhibition. He was known for the Muppet Show and Sesame Street. You can see here some of his membership cards and some storyboards he drew. Last but not least, we saw some production design materials for Silence of the Lambs, the makeup that the stars of Sex and the City used, and the wig that Elizabeth Taylor wore in Cleopatra. Afterwards, we ended up going to Double Chicken Please, which was on my list for the longest time. It's currently ranked number two on the world's 50 best bars. Just a heads up, you can only order pre-made tap drinks in the front room. You can still order food in the front room, but all the pretty cocktails that you see online, you need to be in the back room to order those. This mochi donut chicken sandwich had a really sweet, sour, and savory taste that is so unique, making it probably the best chicken burger slash sandwich I've ever had in my life. I'm not even exaggerating, guys. My mouth is literally watering as I'm doing this voiceover. So that's it for this New York vlog. Thank you so much for watching this super long vlog and I really hope you enjoyed it. Until the next vlog, bye guys.